Hey everyone. So I am building out my hotel uh, development model now, and I thought it would be a good idea to share with you uh, a formula that I use uh, that helps me to build out my annual cash flow tab. Uh, it's one formula that I use for the entire sheet, and all I have to do is first create it and then just copy and paste it um, across the whole entire sheet uh, in the relevant spaces, obviously, and it will aggregate all of my monthly cash flows and put them in the correct order. So for example, in year one of soft costs, um, the same formula that I build for soft costs will aggregate all year one cash flows. And all I'd have to do is copy and paste the formula into any other cell and it will, it will copy the relevant information. So again, if I have year one soft costs and I was to take this formula and copy it into year four loan fees, for example, um, it would do just that. So before we get into the formula, there are, there are a couple things that need to be set up first. Um, the first part is that you need to come into your monthly cash flows and you need to pick out which uh, line items you actually want to port over. Because, you know, in our monthly um, cash flow, for example, here in the development uh, component or the construction cash flow, it's very detailed and we definitely don't need all of this. So, you know, I've gone in and I've picked pretty much the high level line items. So you'll see if we roll this back up, I've basically pulled in all of these line items. And then the other thing you need to do in the monthly cash flow tab is to make sure that you have a row that accounts for all the years. And so you'll have your months up top uh, in consecutive order. And then for every 12 months, it needs to uh, flip into the next year. And so you can do that uh, with a formula that I think Spencer's taught on one of his uh, models, which is basically this roundup formula. So let's round up, use the month divided by 12, and then number of digits you put zero, and this will easily account for all your years. So once you have um, your years in your monthly cash flow, and you've selected your line items that you want to um, add up, then you're ready to go and build the formula. All right, so the formula that we use is sum product. So it equals, some product and here we're going to pick our first array so we're going to go back to the monthly cash flow tab and we're going to come here and we're going to highlight everything from acquisition forward slash land purchase all the way down to total construction costs we're going to hit f4 and actually before i do that let's hit f2 because we want to put a parentheses before that cf right here so basically this is a true false statement. So we're saying if something in this array equals acquisition land purchase, true false. So it'll find whatever row has acquisition forward slash land purchase. We're going to close that. So we have our rows now. Now we're going to go into our columns. So we're going to do another parentheses. And we're going to find our next array. So we'll come back to our monthly cash flow. We're, this time we're going to highlight the years. Hit F4 equals current year, close parentheses, another star, and then we're going to add, if both of these things are true, add up everything in this array. Hit F4 close parentheses, let's hit enter. And that's it, that's the formula. So now what we're gonna do is copy this all the way down. Let me just actually double check that I did everything right here. Okay, so here I'm gonna to wanna to put a dollar sign before the five so it locks in um, the row. That way when we copy down, the row won't go down. And here in front of the B, I wanna lock in with a dollar sign. So that way when we copy across, it will hold in the B comp. Now let's hit enter, which we'll see. And then let's paste it. And I see everything's the same. We'll give it a minute, possibly a couple seconds. It should iterate through and you'll see it all of a sudden change. And show up, there it went. All right, so that was one formula. It basically found this name and it found the year and it aggregated it up. And now what we're going to do is um, 
we'll do an error check. So first let's pull in our total. And here we could just do a quick sum if we will get the range here four comma say if it's acquisition land purchase then give us the sum range which we'll use total here four close parentheses all right so now we're porting in all the totals from the monthly cash flow now let's quick do an error check so it equals if the total equals the sum of our row here give us an okay not give us an error close parentheses okay All right, and that's it. So that is how um, we do our annual cash flow roll up using one formula. So hope that was helpful.